I'm Anil Kumar. In this example, we'll apply difference of cubes to evaluate limits. The question is, evaluate limit when x approaches 2. For x to the power of 6 minus 64 divided by x minus 2. Let me rewrite the formula for difference of cubes, which is x cube minus, let's take in general a cube, will be equals to x minus a times x square plus ax plus a square, right? So that is how you would actually factor difference of cubes. Now let's rewrite the given question. We have limit x approaches 2. x to the power of 6 could be written cube of x square, right? And 64 can be written cube of 4. Let's write this as 4 cube divided by x minus 2. Now we'll apply this formula to expand rather factor the numerator. So we get limit x approaches 2. a minus b means x square minus 4 times a square means x to the power of 4 plus multiplication of these two that means 4 x square plus square of 4 which is 16. Let me write 4 square as such divided by x minus 2. Right? Now we could again simplify this further by factoring x square minus 4. x square minus 4 can be written as x plus 2 times x minus 2. We have x to the power of 4 plus 4x square plus 4 square is 16 divided by x minus 2. Now x minus 2 and x minus 2 cancel off. So, so what we get here is limit x approaches 2. In the numerator we have x plus 2 times x to the power of 4 plus 4x squared plus 16. Now we can substitute 2 in the given equation. So we get 2 plus 2 times 2 to the power of 4 plus 4 times 2 squared plus 16 which is this is 4 now 2 to the power of 4 let's calculate is 16 right and this is also 4 times 4 16 so it is 3 times 16 or 48 you could write this as 16 plus 16 plus 16 which is 4 times 3 times 16 which is 48 and when you multiply them 8 times 4 32 2 3 16 and 3, 192. So the limit of this function is 192. To begin with, it is always a good idea to substitute 2 in the given expression. So when you substitute 2 here, what do you get? You get 2 to the power of 6 minus 64 over 2 minus 2, which is 0 over 0. Since it was a determinate, indeterminate form, means you cannot really determine what the limit is right it could be zero it could be infinity it could be a number as we got in that case we could use substitution or factoring as we did to solve the question right and in this particular example we factored using the formula of difference of cubes as you can see and then you can simplify and get the result i hope the steps are clear you can always share and subscribe my videos. Feel free to post questions. Thank you and all the best.